MMAVikingSureDog.com here with Nicholas Backstrom. How you doing, Nicholas? I'm doing great. How are you, Ryan? Good, good. You just said uh, before the camera started rolling that you're a little uncomfortable here at the press conference and getting all these questions. Yeah, I'm not quite used to it. Um, I'm used to fighting, you know. Uh, that's what I do every day. I don't stand in front of like uh, 20, 40 cameras every day, so it's uh, it's new to me. But yeah, as you said, I better get used to it. Yeah, and this is a, a big step up for you fighting in, in Sweden and actually on, on the main card. How does, how does that feel? Yeah, it, uh, in one way, you know, uh, I know that I am this good, but in one way I, I respect the guys uh, before me in Sweden that has done, uh, put in the work. And uh, it is a little bit uh, apologetic, I, I say, I take the, the main event because I know so many guys like... Uh, you can uh, like um, uh, Nico, like uh, uh, like uh, Tor, Tor, uh, and all these guys that has uh, put in so so much work, you know. Uh, and I'm getting the the uh, you know uh, main card. So uh, because I respect them so much, it, it's it's a of course you know I. I feel like this this is where I belong, but they have they have put in a lot of work, you know, and they, they are my friends. So, yeah, sorry, but yeah. You know. Yeah, you didn't it. you didn't decide to get pulled up to this press conference. I think they no. did based on your your last win was really exciting, and yeah. and you like to talk, which has been getting some attention too. Uh, I don't know uh, if I do. I'm I'm just I'm just I'm just honest in. in uh, yeah, I'm just honest, and uh, this is just the way I am. I don't know if I like to talk, but it just it just happens sometimes. Yeah, well, I think uh, I think the one thing that I, I think people are attracted to is that y you kind of speak what's on your mind. I don't think you plan too much that you're going to say this or that. But when this opponent was announced, uh, I, I know you were calling out uh, some bigger names, uh, Mike Wilkinson. What do you know about him, and 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 how do you expect this fight to go? Uh, I know that he's, uh, uh, as I said in a bunch of other interviews, I know that he's a short Englishman and he has eight wins and uh, one loss. Um, and uh, <coughs> his last uh, fight was um, a loss and uh, I know he's going to fight me uh, 4th of October. So. Yeah, and are you looking for... Uh you said an early finish. Why do you think that happens? Is that just something that happens in practice, or when you get someone in front of you, you know it's going to end right away? Uh, I just feel dangerous. I just feel dangerous as shit, you know. Uh, when I'm in there, uh, I'm. That's all I can say. I just feel like it's dangerous for my opponents. Uh, but. Um, you know, then again, it, it depends on, on, on the person I'm fighting against, uh, if he is attacking or if he is disengaging uh, and only looking for, you know, counters and, and defense. And uh, it depends on a lot of stuff. But uh, if, if he is coming to fight, then, yeah, it's... it's what do you, last question, what do, what do you have to say to all the fans out there as tickets go on, on sale today? Why should they buy a ticket and come to the event and see you? Because I'm fighting. Yeah. Great, Nick Glass. Well, yeah. Good luck to you and uh, congratulations on getting pulled in the UFC and getting on the main card here. Yeah. I gotta say, my, my uh, last fight was a bulldog choke that nobody has seen in like how long? Since um, uh, Carlo Uno. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the fight before that was a front kick uh, in how many seconds? Uh, like 12 seconds yeah. or 17 seconds? Uh, yeah, something like that. It was a front kick. Uh, so I, I bring some, some spectacular shit, basically. Right. Well, we look forward to the spectacular stuff uh, soon. Yeah. Thanks again, Nicholas. Thank you.